The revelation that five NC State football players were at a campus party where three women reported being sexually assaulted by more than one man is only raising more questions tonight. All five have either been suspended or dismissed, but the university says that decision had nothing to do with sex assault allegations. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson went to the head coach to get some answers. Athletic department staff told me in the morning that Wolfpack head football coach Dave Dorn would not be discussing in the investigation involving five freshman football players, but he fielded a few related questions after talking about the team's preparation for next week's home opener against South Carolina. Dorn drew a crowd concerned about the events that led to the dismissal of two players and suspensions of three more. And I'm going to be fair and firm. And you never like being in decision making mode like that. I mean, that's not what you do, but you do everything you can ahead of time to prevent those things from happening. Dorn says programs such as the team's leadership council helps with that. It involves selected student athletes providing guidance and direction to teammates. Dorn says he had a meeting with the team to tell them about the decision to punish the players. Anytime somebody makes a mistake, you sit down and you work through it with all the people involved and you make the best choice for the program. For the university. In a prepared statement Tuesday, Dorn said the disciplined players made poor decisions that don't align with the values of the program and violated the student athlete code of conduct. I moved as fast as I could. I mean, I'm not going to do anything until I know enough. And once I knew, then I moved. When asked about the punishment being made two weeks before the university said anything about the decision, well, it wasn't said to you. And now it's just because the university and the investigative people told us when we were allowed to talk. Athletic Director Debbie Yao says the players could face additional punishments if more violations are discovered. Reporting at the NC State Football Practice Complex in Raleigh, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina.